Footballers today are celebrated superstars. Living lavish lifestyles and commanding hefty salaries. I hope you're getting what I meant by hefty salaries, right? 20s, maybe 17, I don't know. 17 cars? Yeah. And they, you got a, how many Bugattis? Two. Ferrari? Two. Rolls? Two, 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 two. <laughs> but it wasn't always this way. In the past, some of these legends pursued entirely different careers alongside their footballing feats, often driven by passion, financial necessity, or simply for the thrill of it. Yes, man, do you want to know the entire thing? Starting with Ian Wright the pop star. Ian Wright, known for his incredible skills on the pitch with Crystal Palace and Arsenal in the 80s and 90s, showed that he's not just a football maestro. And he's more than that. In 1993, he ventured into the world of pop music. That's right, the man who held Arsenal's goal-scoring record with 185 goals until Thierry Henry broke it decided to drop a single. It was titled Do The Right Thing and was co-written and produced by none other than Chris Lowe of the Pet Shop Boys. Ian Wright's musical career might have been brief, but it sure added a melodious twist to his already remarkable life. Moving on to Nigel de Jong. The car dealer. Now, we all know footballers have a soft spot for luxury cars. Dutch midfielder Nigel de Jong decided to take his love for automobiles to the next level by getting into the car dealership business. Isn't that too cool, man? And let me tell you, he made quite the wise move. His showrooms feature high-end beauties like Lamborghini Aventadors, Maseratis, and Ferraris, among other prestigious brands. De Jong's passion for cars transformed into a thriving venture spanning across Europe and the Middle East. What? Are you jealous or something? Come on, man. Next is Peter Schmeichel, from goalie to cleaner. Before becoming the iconic goalkeeper we know him as today, Peter Schmeichel ventured into various jobs to make ends meet. He worked as an apprentice carpet fitter, sold newspaper advertising, and even managed a World Wildlife Fund charity shop. And here's a quirky twist in his journey. For a brief period, he worked as a cleaner in a retirement home. <laughs> Ain't that funny? From cleaning duties to cleaning up on the football field, Peter Schmeichel's career path was anything but conventional. Next up, Jamie Vardy, the factory dynamo. Jamie Vardy's journey from non-league to Premier League glory is the stuff of legends. But did you know that before he was a superstar, he was a factory technician crafting medical splints for folks with foot problems. While earning a humble 30 pounds per week, he also played non-league football. Next up, Papis Cisse from ambulance to goal. Pape Sisse's tale is a roller coaster. Before his football days, he was an ambulance driver in Senegal, witnessing life's harsh realities at just 15. He saw people pass away, and it was tough, really tough, but it made him strong, and he decided to chase his dreams on the football pitch. Bro, he seems like a true inspiration, for real, man. Moving on to Clint Dempsey, the rap maestro. Clint Dempsey isn't just a soccer legend, he's got Bars. He teamed up with Nike in 2006 and dropped a rap video, Don't Tread. As his alter ego, Deuce, he brought the heat alongside Houston rappers. Who knew Dempsey could rock the mic as well as the pitch? Next is Eric Cantona. Cantona. <laughs> How to create space and then we pass Blair. it off. Here's Cantona! He's done it! The silver screen star, Eric Cantona, the Premier League's enigmatic genius, gave fans thrills and chills on the field. But he wanted more. He retired at 30 and dove into acting, surprising everyone. I love to surprise a crowd, you know. It's because they think accidents, crimes, will still kill us. The man who wowed us with his skills now wows us on the silver screen. And now, guys, this one is going to be a bit fun. Daniel Agger, Ink and Artistry.
Former Liverpool star Daniel Agger found his true calling after football, tattoo artistry. He studied the craft and is now part of Tattoo. Sending me to another club for a lot of money and I knew inside myself that I was staying and, and this was a way to show it. Or you got a tattooed while you were supposed to be traded maybe? A major tattoo parlor. From clearing the field to crafting art on skin, Agger is the real deal. That's so cool, man. I can't get over it. When I speak to people, I talk about my tattoo, you know, that's one piece. But obviously every, every tattoo has a story. Some stories are better than others. Moving on to Stuart Pierce. Through to Pierce. And Pierce is equalized. It'll come back for Pierce. He's got his second. Pierce is challenging that now with the help of Clough. Forest have worked their way through for a golden goal, really. From the pitch to power lines. Stuart Pearce, one of England's finest left-backs, wasn't always on the pitch. He used to be an electrician. He landed a gig doing some electrical work for none other than his manager, Brian Clough. I've got my own business, my electrical business. I work for myself, basically. So I had my own phone line installed in my house. I advertised in the programme. Um, <laughs> now we're going to tell you about a secret agent, Gheorghe Popescu. Gheorghe Popescu, a football legend, had a surprising sign Gig. He was an informant for Romania's secret police, Securitate. During the 80s, they were trying to outwit Seaua Bucharest. Popescu's past as a spy might have made for some interesting halftime chats. It's getting very engaging and fun, right? Oh wait, have you subscribed to our channel yet? Not yet? Come on, man. This is the first thing you have to do after watching this video. Ben Burgess, the teacher. Into the path of Southern and Burgess. Ben Burgess, famous for his days as a forward and striker for Blackpool and Hull City, took an unexpected turn after hanging up his boots. He became a teacher, and it wasn't just any teaching. It was all about shaping young minds. Ben knew that real success isn't just about scoring goals under pressure. It's about inspiring kids to pick up a book and discover the world. Um, a lot of professional footballers get depression when they finish because you just can't recreate those moments. And it's just unbelievable. It's like a sort of out-of-body experience where you, you score and then everyone's celebrating and it's just it's just brilliant. Who would have thought the football stars like Ben Burgess and Tim Weiser would venture into these unexpected passions? It just goes to show that there's always more to these athletes than meets the eye. So as you cheer for your favourite players on the pitch, remember they might just surprise you off it too. Did these footballers' unexpected passions brighten up your day? If they did, show us some love. Hit that like button, subscribe for more exhilarating stories, and keep the fun vibes going. We'll catch you on the flip side for more incredible Incredible tales from the world of sports. And if you like this video, make sure to check the one on the screen now. You will like it even more.